I remember right before Gilmore Girls came out, there was a thing in a magazine that my friend was reading. She was like, oh my gosh, you're in this magazine. She was like, ooh. And I was like, what? And she said, it was a little article about actors who had been in a bunch of failed pilots and probably this next one was going to fail. Like it was sort of saying like, aren't we tired of, you know, trying these people? And that was the year I got Kilmore Girls. So it's a, you just never know. And I had done a lot of pilots. Why was that a bad thing? You know what I mean? Just because it, the, the show didn't go, there's so many factors that go into succeeding or not succeeding. So I think it's healthy in a weird way to finish every job and think, well, that was it because you kind of have to plan that way. And um, definitely after parenthood, it was almost a lack of knowing what I wanted to do. And the more you're out there, the more you get offers that are kind of the thing you just did or related to it. So it just can become harder to find something fresh. Well, talk about hindsight being 2020. Whoever wrote that article was absolutely obviously <laughs> wrong. Um, and since we talking about we're talking about Gilmore Girls, let's do a few questions about that. So you mentioned how that was a life-changing experience for you. It was something that defined you. And was that something that you felt very early on when you were filming? Is it something that you realized in looking back now that the show is not on? It continues to amaze me. Um the the only thing I knew then was how how strongly I connected to the material and how I'd never had the experience before of feeling like something was written for me. And I knew it wasn't, but I just had a really strong connection. I always compare it to, you know, whatever the version of falling in love across a crowded room. Like I just recognized it and but I didn't know if I was gonna get it. And I was actually tied to another show at the time. It was a very long process. Um, and then I remember, well, first of all, in our first year, we were up against Friends, the number one show. And I thought, oh, we'll be canceled immediately. There's no way. But because the expectations were low in a way, because we were up against such crazy competition and the network was smaller, they just kind of let us, grow, but I don't think I had any sense during it, except that we kept getting picked up, but that wasn't even guaranteed. Every year you're on a show, you think it's probably going to get canceled. All the other ones I'd done had been. So um, it's only really, it's only really now when like a 10 year old and her mom comes up to me on the street and they're like, we're watching Gilmore Girls. And I'm like, wow, I am still realizing what you know, it, it continues and it's incredible, but I could never have predicted that. 